Hey guys, today I will be showing you how to get rid of the iPhone or iPod not connecting to iTunes. And this has happened for a lot of people since they updated to the new 5.1.1 software. And I've also encountered this problem. And after my research, I have found out one really easy way that will solve all the problems. So let's begin. Alright, so before attempting uh, this method, I'm going to link you to the Apple forums, which give you, I think, seven options to try to fix this problem. And if they're really simple, like turning off your computer or rebooting it or reinstalling iTunes and those things. But if all those didn't work, just like happened to me, none of them worked, then I guess this is the only way to um, fix this problem. And before you do that, you will, you would want to connect your, if you have any like pictures or anything, because you're going to lose all your data. And I know it's, it sucks, but it's the only way, unless you don't want it to connect anymore, or someone finds another solution, but that probably won't happen. So I would recommend plugging your USB cable into the your computer and taking all your photos and putting them into a folder on the computer so you don't lose that and writing your contacts onto another onto a piece of paper so you don't lose those as well and if you're on an iPod it's not a big deal you're just gonna lose your games and stuff so that's not a big deal so what you wanna do is go to settings you want to go to general and on the bottom you want to click on reset so we're going to do that and over here we're going to click erase all contact all content and settings you want to click erase iPhone and then are you sure you want to do this and you want to click erase iPhone again and just forewarning you again, you're going to lose all your uh, data, everything that you have. So don't just come message me saying that, oh, you didn't tell me that I would lose that stuff because I told you like a couple times. So after doing that, your iPod, iPhone or iPod will turn off, it will reboot, and then the Apple logo will come on. And it should take a couple minutes, and when you come on, you will have to set up everything again onto your iPhone and iPod and then once you connect it it will work so again this is the only solution that I found for the ones that don't work on the Apple forums and that is all I hope I hope it worked for you and it should so thank you for watching and have an excellent day